by the way, why are you coming back this late? Yeah, actually, uh, you know, we just acquired two new clients today. And, you know, we just had to finish up the new um, cases we had in our hands. Good. Yeah. Good. And, uh, I saw Nicole today. Who? <laughs> Which Nicole? <laughs> you know Nicole. My wife. Oh. Uh. That one. Mm. You're still in love with her, right? She's my wife, Mom. Okay. So, how is she doing? Not so good. So good. Um, I saw her. She was roaming the streets, and she said she wants to come home. But I said, not looking like junk. Good. You know, I warned you. I warned you when you wanted to go to Africa to bring in a wife. I warned you. They're used to fast life, and if anything hap little happens, the break. They can take it. Now your sister Cindy is about to bring in another non-entity from the same Africa. I started talking. I'm still talking. Mom, please, let's not go there. I loved her. I still love her. Yeah, And, and I thought bringing her from Africa, she would be different. Mm. After all the stories I told you? After everything you heard? <laughs> what were you thinking? The love? Was going to make it right. Hmm? Talk to your sister. She's about to bring in a man without first getting married to him back home. <laughs> Talk to her. I thought they were going to get married eventually here. That's where you're wrong. No, you don't do that. She was supposed to marry him first back home before bringing him here, but no, the dude got smart. He said, it's only after he gets his papers will he marry your sister. And Cindy being so stupid and naive, agreed to it. Imagine that. Well, Mom, let's, let's talk about this later. Uh, I'm kind of tired. I need to take a shower. Sure you are. God says, yeah. I'll fix you something to eat, okay? Kiss of these days. I wonder what I think love is. for this week was for Cindy. <laughs> you pray. Girl, don't come for me. I do pray. And somebody sure needs one and not me. Well, go on and pray for Cindy. I'm gonna pray for her too. <laughs> you better. Yeah, nice to meet you, ma'am. 
Um, <clears throat> anyway, we're having um, a little welcome party for you at our house by 4 p.m. today. Okay? And that was supposed to be a surprise party. Mm, surprise. There is nothing surprising about me. Hey, Cindy. Hey, hey mommy. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm good. I'm just gonna run to the car and get something. Okay. Hi, right, Johnny. Jennifer. 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm um, we done or you still want to remain in church? I'm so hungry. You wanna go home? Okay, let's go eat then. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my daughter's husband's to be welcome party. He arrived yesterday, and we're all grateful to God for Johnny Messis. But I'd like to use this opportunity to say that I never supported my daughter going back home to get a man. Especially someone from another tribe. I am going to say this once that I'll be watching my daughter's back. And if he messes up, he will have me to deal with. Uh, everybody, please excuse my mom. She is. Uh... She's been playing tonight. Made my point. Just part of the, uh, <laughs> the entertainment. Just want to use this opportunity tonight to thank you all for coming and uh, congratulate my sweet little sister and her fiance on their upcoming wedding. And uh, very soon you guys will be getting invitations concerning the wedding. And uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you guys for coming out. And I also want to use the opportunity to say that um, our wedding, our court wedding, will be next week, Friday, and there will be a small reception at the apartment hall from 8 p.m. until the morning. So, y'all, get ready to, you know, lose your hands, turn, and get turns up. Mama. Okay, looking forward to seeing you. Mama, Mama. Mama. Ken? No, I 
can't do that. I can't do that, Ken. What is so difficult in what I'm asking you to do? Like, come on, like, she's been in this house for over six months. What's going on? I don't get it. But babe, you know her house is still under renovation and I'm not gonna ask her to leave until it's done. Well, if you don't tell her, I'll tell her myself. Uh, you would do no such thing. Listen to yourself. Have you even bothered to ask me where I have been living all this while? For your information, I was with my mom. I was living with my mom. And I'm not gonna tell my mom to leave my house. No, I can't do that. Hey, see, all I'm just saying is that she just has to move before we leave the house here. Because, look, I don't have anything against your mom. Right? I love your mom. But we need our privacy, we need our space. She's. Oh, we need to build a home in our new home. to look forward to talk to her tonight. Maybe when we're moving tomorrow, she will leave. Now, you go in there, wait for me, I'm going to bring you in. Alright, what's your dinner? Okay. Now you started it. You started this. It's time to make them babies. Don't tease me. <laughs> Please don't go. At least not today. I already called Ubakem. Mama, stay. Please, stay. I'll take you home tomorrow. Listen. I just want you to be safe. I wish, I wish you had listened to me. We're your friends. I wish you had listened. Sad? I thought something happened. Hey, but wait, uh, why did she leave today? I thought she was going to leave tomorrow. Apparently, she overheard our conversation. Oh. Well, baby, I, I, it's, it's going to be okay, then, right? Don't worry. Okay? Everything's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. She'll be fine, Mama will be fine. You know I love her, you know? But you know, it's just, it's just sad. I didn't even expect she was gonna to leave today. You know, but it's all right, it's okay. It's not Oh. 
was a lot of traffic in the road. It's fine. Well, you should have called. It's fine? It's fine? We said four hours and we've lost an hour and it's fine? Um, my bad, sir. So there was an accident on the road and one lane was closed. Um, Mom, can I, can I get a start? Follow me. Oh. But he said I should ride with you to direct you. Oh, all right, okay, let's, let's go to the car. Just drop this on the car. wife said you asked to see us. Yes, I did. Hope all is well. Yes, everything is good. Actually, it's based on the lab result we conducted on her last week. The result is out. Is it copy of it? Uh, the results show that her ultrasound is normal, but the stress test we conducted, she has a high level of stress. I don't know what is stressing you, madam. Are you still working too much? No, doctor, I don't work anymore. Then you have to find things that makes you happy. Find a way and be relaxing. It seems you are working too hard. Or you can go for holidays to Bahamas. Well, thank you very much, doctor. I will take care of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you You're welcome. Sir. Cindy, my daughter. You know, you're too good to be married to a guy like Ken. Honestly, it still beats my imagination that you have to stop working. Hmm? Mama, try to understand. He asked me to stop working to reduce the stress level so that we can continue to try to have a baby. To yourself. Who told you that working will make you not to get pregnant? Look at all those women back home in Africa. They work from morning till night and yet they get pregnant like a fish. Come on, you used to be a strong woman. You know, you used to love working. What happened to that girl? No, my love. Hmm. Love happened. Mama, I promise you, I'll go back to work as soon as I have a baby. Alright, why don't you use this opportunity to get your master's degree? Yeah. You know what, Mama? I told him about that, but he refused. But I can agree with him. Cindy. Cindy. Mama. Cindy. Mama. I hope you know what you're doing. The way I see that guy, he doesn't strike me like someone who cares about you. And you know 
I'm always right. Mm -hmm. Mom, I think you're going to be wrong in this one. I pray I am. <laughs> you know what? I'm so tired. I want to go to sleep.
little bit. You said you'd do anything to make me happy, yes? Yes. Well, this is my wife and child, Sandra. Her father is a chief neurosurgeon at the General Hospital, and she's a cardiologist. That's right, my wife is a cardiologist. Your wife? And your child? That's right. I'm his wife, and this is his child. It's nice to meet you. Ken, what the hell is he talking about? After all the things I've done for you, Ken? After all the beatings? From, from you, Ken? After all the miscarriages? Ken, I brought you from Africa where you had nothing. Is this how you're going to pay me back, Ken? Um, Joe. Sir. Sir. Please get this woman out of my house and I'll just take her wherever she wants to go. Sir. Leave my house. Just, just leave my house. Just get her out and just take her wherever she wants to go to, please. No, baby, please. Why is she so You can't do this. Just, you can't do this, baby, please. please. We can work this out, please. please just leave please. my house. Just go, please. please. Get out. Just get out please, of my baby, house. Please, baby, please, please, I'm begging you. Just go. Just go. Please, please, just, please. Just go, please. Please, please, get out of here. You just get out of my house. Please, get please, please go. Get her out. Just go. I'm not going anywhere. Please, please, please. I'm not going anywhere, baby. Get out of my house. Just go. Please, please. Drop you, lady. Look, we've been, we've been driving for a while now, and I don't know where to drop you. I understand what you're going through. Do you understand, right? Trust me, you don't need to tell me where to drop you. So it's not the end of the world. It's India too beautiful to be treated like this. You know, I don't know what of these there, but I just want you to be optimistic, okay? So where do you want me to drop you? Anywhere. Just take me anywhere. Hey, come on, anywhere is nowhere. And what are you doing? No, 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 I will not accept that. No, 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 that's, that's, your, that's your wedding ring. I will not accept that. All right? So please, you need to come down and let's slap on this. No, 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 you don't want to just, just come down. Come down and let's look for the ring, okay? Just come down and you can accept that. What is it? 
Call the police on you. Oh, you want to call the police? Yes. You want to call the police? Yes. You, 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 you want to call the police? You want to call the police? Call the police. I said, call the police. Don't let me strangle you with my bare hands. Mm. You want to kill my wife? You mean great. So it's because of this white trash. Why well, you've been treating my daughter badly, right? I will deal with you. I'll make sure I deal with you. Maggie, I never loved your daughter. Hmm. And I never will. Huh. Okay? I just used the opportunity that was presented to me to get what I wanted. She was desperate to get a man. She made it obvious she was desperate to get a man. Don't you do what See, Maggie, please, I have nothing to do with your family. I wish mother was legal. Because I hate you right now. I so hate you. Listen. You will pay for this. You hear me? I will make sure you come crawling on those knees of yours to beg. Or then it will be too late. I promise you. You will regret this. I'm calling the cops. You will. Just keep it Sorry, you had to go through that. That's not your fault. Did you, did you hurt you? Who's that? What? Yeah, get out. Why the hell hey, did hey, you hey. do that to my sister, man? Dude, what? Get the hell out of my house. I'm, I'm done with your sister and your entire family. Not even an iota of remorse. Remorse? Your sister was so desperate to get a man. All she ever talks about is Tina has four kids. In case she has ten kids, she'll go any length to get a man. You tell me about remorse? Come on. You listen to yourself. Aren't you ashamed? Ashamed? Of dumping that bitch. I did myself. Don't ever call my sister that! <laughs> You're a disgrace! To all African men. Disgrace. I'm a successful doctor. Look at you. You should not even want a case. What advice? Better start winning cases before you be out of a job. Okay? You have not seen the last of me. You stay away from my sister. 
If I see you around her, I'm going to kill you. That's it, go in cases. Who are you? Who are you looking for? Um, my name is Joe and I'm here to see Ray. Jenny, who is at the door? Some guy who says his name is Joe and I'm looking for Ray. What are you doing here? Oh, have you come to arrest me? I should be the one asking you what you are doing here. Hold up. How do you two know each other? Yeah. He's the Uber driver that I told you about. The one I ran away with his car. Ah. <laughs> oh. Is that so? Mm -hmm. You. Why did you act that way the other day? You know you owe me an apology for that. I am the one that deserves an apology. Okay, um, so the place is, is Ray. Nope. I could, um, can you help me tell him when he comes back that Joe was here and he should just put a call through to me? I will. not gonna be happy as I with a man? Well, you are wrong in that. I have found peace. I miss my friends, I miss my old life, and I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah, finally, I found peace with God again. Thank you, God. Yeah, right. I hope you're not planning on bringing in another gold again to this home. Because this time around, I'll be ready for anything. No more playing nice. What's wrong? Just don't bother about the way she talks. told you that. I came up later. I know, I guess. Alright, uh, I would have said, uh, don't draw people as like you came with your car. Yeah, of course I did. I don't know, Kim, uh, can I get your number? Okay, right, 615. 615, alright. 653. 1212. 1212. I'll call you soon. Thank you, take care. Yeah,
Hello? Hello. Who is this? Um, my name is Joe. Which Joe? Um, Simba's boyfriend. Oh. Anyway, so what do I owe this pleasant call? Or a surprise call? Um, I, I need a favor from you. <laughs> favor? What kind? I I know you don't like me, but um, I wanna I wanna propose to Cindy. <laughs> Proposal? <laughs> anyway, is it gold or diamond? <laughs> Never mind. Um, I think I can work something out. So what's your plan? Um, I want you to be in charge of everything. I don't know, just come up with something. Okay. Later then. Ah, uh, thank you. So he has a 50-50 chance of making it. It affected his spinal cord, so I'm afraid he might not walk by the time he comes back from coma. Who is this? I'm his wife. Wife? His mistress, doctor. I'm his legally married wife. <laughs> In the process of a divorce, I'm a mother to his child and I would appreciate if you would take him off life support. He has very good insurance and me and my son will be perfectly fine. Wow. Why are you here? Why are you here? Doctor, please do whatever you can to save his life. <laughs> whatever. Please do whatever you can to make him live. I'll try my best. your wife and child left. They are gone. I can't see them. What? Would you... Please. See, this is a joke. Just stop it. I need you to leave now. My wife is very jealous and she will not find you funny when she wants oh. you. To. Okay, now, can listen to me. What did I do to you, baby? What? All I ever did was to love you. 
against all objection from my family, my friends, and everybody. I still love you. Why did you do this to me? Why did you treat me this way? Why, baby, why? Okay, right now. Okay, Ken. <laughs> you just want to hear this, right? You see your white woman? She's gone. Huh? She left. She's no more here. Doesn't live here anymore. She left. Not only did she leave, she sold your house, your cars, everything. You own nothing right this minute. You own nothing. She left with your child, Ken. What? Oh, I said your child. I'm sorry. The baby is not yours. <laughs> Ken, 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 Ken. Oh my God. After everything I did for you, everything I did for you, Ken, this is how you pay me back. You want me to call your white woman? Sandra! She's not here! She's gone! Sandra. <laughs> yes? You think I'm lying? <clears throat> this is a letter from the bank saying that you have to leave this house. See this house? Beautiful house? In two weeks. Read. Read it. <laughs> oh, 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 Ken. Can I can cook? I can't cook. If you want to cook, I can help you. You go to the kitchen and cook. You see the good girl Cindy? Long gone. It's gone. All gone. This Cindy right here, new one, cannot cook. After everything I did for you, you know what I feel right now? To strangle you. But I'm not going to do it because of the God in me.
you been since <gasps> yesterday? <laughs> Mama, you scared me. You're still awake. Yes, I am. <sighs> I'm sorry. My battery was dead, so that's why I couldn't call. Mm. Why are you smiling? <laughs> That's good for a change to see you happy. Oh, I'm not smiling. So, who is he? Who is who? He <laughs> kept you all night. Mama, nobody kept me all night. Yeah. Nobody. Yes, my camera was shot. So? I hope he's dead. Oh yes, he deserves it. Don't talk like that. Well, someone died at the hospital and they blamed it on him, mm -hmm. fired him, revoked his license, and he was on his way home and robbed and got shot. Interesting. You but why even... are you the one taking care of him? Where is his wife and kid? Mama, that's the story I want to tell you. <laughs> there is no wife, no a child. What do you mean there's no wife? The <laughs> precious Sandra. What happened? Uh, Mama, Sandra is gone. She went to the hospital. She told the doctor to take a... Uh, can of life life support that she has insurance things that and she will be fine with her son or whatever if it's all the same mama this work we never do no the funny story is that the baby is not kent <laughs> oh my god oh lord yes Wow! Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm so tired. I don't wanna, wanna go to bed. It's okay. Good night, Mama. Bye, Bye.
it's time for us to pray. Today I want to tell you that whatever you are passing through, whatever difficulty you have been facing, God is here to change this the story around. God is here to change your story into glory. Amen. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know what you have been seeing. But today, God wants to change that story for you. Amen. I want somebody to get up. I want everybody to get on their feet. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Let us begin to pray. Yes, you Lord. You no, know you want to give your life to Christ. I want you to come out today. You have to make it right with God. Every preacher we have preached today, if you have not made it right with God, nothing works. Without Him, nothing works. I want you to change, come here to this morning to say with me, to repeat with me this afternoon and make it right. story around. From today, I am your son. I am not your daughter. From today, I am making it right with you. In Jesus' name. Today, Father, we thank you for these souls. We thank you for this, your sons and daughters that are here this morning. Father, we pray that you change their stories. Father, we pray that you change their story into glory. Father, give them a testimony from this day. Father, give them a testimony from this day. If as they step out this day, Father, there will be a change in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything they are seeking, Father, today they will have a, a, a change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, everything they think they need. Father, everything you think they need. Father, provide it for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, today, you oh God, I speak to this leg. I speak to this leg. I speak to this body. I speak to every one of them. That everything about them shall change from now onwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. you deny. You know what? I never liked you. I knew this was going to happen. I was only waiting for the right time. So when it started, I wasn't surprised. Only it took longer than I expected. It took four years. Four years of my daughter's life, you washed down the drain. Well, that was a little longer than I expected, but uh, still longer than most marriages in America. So, you can leave now. It's over between the two of you. Go and look for your white woman and your child. Leave. Leave! Hey, wait, 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 wait. I also heard that. The child is not even yours. <laughs> Come on at its best. Get out. Da 
audacity to come into my house. start from. See, I know I don't deserve to be here or for you to even listen to me. And I've hurt you so bad. But I want you to forgive me. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. to forgive me for what I'm about to do. For what? He deserves more than this. Here. What is that? See, I have nothing against you anymore. I forgive you from the bottom of my heart. I wish you the best. <laughs> Go get your mom, girl! <laughs> Mama, tomorrow morning, I'll go find my love. I can't wait to marry you. I can't wait to be your baby. Baby, ask me again. Ask me. Ask me. I swear to God, I will marry you. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh, baby. Yes. Will you marry me? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Come here. <laughs> oh. So tell me, son, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. The court section today was so chaotic. I'm worried you'll be fine, okay? 
I trust you. Mama, I don't know if I will win this one. It's a very complicated case. Anyway, how is my sister doing? Why are you sounding this way? Huh? Where is that faith of yours? And where is that God you talk about every time? This is the time for him to show you that he is truly what you believe that he is. Mama, you've not answered me. How is my sister saying? I tried calling her phone, but it's not going to. I'm a little bit worried about her. Cynthia. Um, Cindy is fine. She'll take care of herself. You're the one I'm worried about. Hmm? Anyway, she says she'll be coming uh, today, today to pick the rest of her things. She's fine. The rest of her things? For what? Did she get an apartment or you probably kicked her out? Well, your sister says she's moving in with her boyfriend. Or someone that I don't even know, so. <laughs> no way. No way. Hallelujah. So, he proposed. Tiki, my sister, is a lucky girl. Do you know the guy? Yes, ma, I do. And you also do too. But. But what? Hmm. He's a Muslim. But I, I don't know him. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I don't know. You know what your sister told me sometime um, last weekend? She just said that she's in love and that she's going to get her man. She left, came back after a few days to get some of her things. I asked her again where she was going. She said she was going to be with uh, Joe. Joe, yeah, Joe. So. Oh, Mama. Don't you know Joe, my friend? My very good friend, the one who um, works at the restaurant. He told me he was in love with her, but I didn't know he was going to propose this fast. What? Oh, no. Don't tell me you... Don't tell me your sister is in love or engaged to a man he barely knows. That, that, that ugly boy. Wait, 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 wait first. Did you say he's Muslim? Yes, ma'am. But he's the nicest person I've ever met. You should shut your trap. Shut it. What do you know about love or niceness? Huh? Okay, tell me. What is nice with a man that drinks? Or the one that has dreadlocks. Hmm? What is nice about him? A black American and to top it all, a uh, Muslim. Oh God. God, I didn't kill my parents. Don't let these children kill me before my time. Huh? Hello? Hello? Are you okay, son? Uh, yes, ma'am. But I gotta go. It's um, court session and I, I think I will see you guys in a few weeks. Okay, take care, son. Hi, Mama. I'm so tired. Are you okay? Is there anything you're not telling me, Cindy? Anything like what, Mama? I just got off the phone now with your brother. Just before you came in. So I am going to ask you again, Cindy. Are you lying to me about anything? No. Oh, did my brother say anything happy? Well, Mama, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever it is, I am grown. Right now, I'm a grown woman, and I can take good care of myself. Just, just, just shut your trap. You, you, you spoiled brat. Okay. Huh? So you think now you're grown. This is all you have to say in this matter. Mom, well, I'm gonna go upstairs and get the rest of my things so out. Sit your ass down! Sit down! Right now. What is going on? Can sit. Oh, for sure. Okay. 
That's my brother. He said he's coming back today. Oh yes, um, but he couldn't finish in court early enough to start driving down. I guess he'll still be on the way coming. Oh, okay. <sighs> Mommy? This is Joe. Of course, you already know him. Get up and meet you, Mom. I don't really want to say that, but shit. The fact that you've been taking for a good care of her. I wish I could say the same thing about you. Okay. Mom, I'm gonna go upstairs and use the restroom and pick up some of my things. Okay, baby. I'll be right back. But that's so much champagne you're having right here. Looks good. Where's Ray? Why are you taking advantage of her? Who? Who else? Cindy. Oh, no. I ain't taking any advantage of her. I love your daughter so much. And I'm ready to do everything to make her happy. How are you planning to do that by being Uber driver or something else? Hmm? Come on. You and I know that Cindy deserves better. She deserves a man who can take care of her. You know that. And um, are you aware her husband wants her back? And you, and you feel more comfortable? Let her go back to him. Some other beats and cheats her out all the time. Well, my dear, if I can call you that, you know, you see, from where we come from, there's a saying, the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Okay? And how are we sure you won't turn out to be just like him? Besides, you are black. Black. Ken is also black. <laughs> See, um, Ken is African. Ken is Nigerian. Ken. Knows culture. He knows he loves family. He knows family values. You? <laughs> you American. No culture. And I bet, um, I thought it's cultural, no culture. I'll let you down. I, I love your daughter so much. And I'm gonna do everything to keep her to myself. Oh, you know, the last time I checked, you know, guys, Andre. Besides, your, your lips, they're a little too dark. You smoke, right? Oh, God. What is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with my daughter? Why, why can't she just see some of these decent men out there? You know, men in medical field. In the business world, man in Wall Street, this! Oh, um, you mean man like the president? Mm -hmm. And what about the president? Did I miss something? Ah, uh, wait a minute. You okay, babe? Because I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why are you 
you here? Maggie told me you'd be here, so I decided to come see you, since you're not returning my calls or messages. Why, Mommy? Mommy, why? Sorry, my bad. It's not her fault, Cindy. I've been disturbing her, and she had no choice but to let me know where I can meet you. Hey, see. I know I messed up. I hurt you. Okay? But I love you. from this family. Stay away from my mother, from, you see this house? Stay away from anything and everything that has to do with me. Stay away. What did I miss? What's going on here? That's her fiance. Who's, who's fiance? Joe proposed to Cindy and she accepted. <laughs> no, that no, must be some kind of joke, right? Because <laughs> that, that's not going to happen. No, Over my dead body. No, no, listen. The fact that I invited into my house doesn't mean I support you being with my daughter. I had not forgotten what you did in the past. Okay? It's just that I feel she's better off with you. Marrying Joe will be the greatest mistake of her life. That's just it. So, don't push it. So, you know, like we were saying earlier, please, I, I need you to beg your friend. I know I messed up, but I, I can't lose her. Please. I know, Ken, but you really hurt Cindy. Tina, if you can do this for me, I promise you will never regret it. You know she don't listen to anyone. Plus, do you, don't you know she's engaged now? Yeah, I heard. It's my driver. I mean, not really my driver, but cab driver. But the guy can't even feed himself. What does she see in him? I don't know, Ken. Getting married so quick, I understand. But she's in love. She's happy. Everything she knows. I mean, everything she knows about our relationship, she got from me. I, I was her first. I made her a woman. Look, I can't lose her. No. That's what makes me upset. You had a good woman. She gave you her all. And you just threw it away for some white woman. But where is she at? Yeah. And I missed her. Real bad. I hurt her. But I realized she's the best thing that ever happened to my life. I'm not gonna lose her, I mean, without a fight. Not, not even to a smoker. He smokes too? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Wow, that's not like Cindy. I've never known her to be with someone who has dreadlocks and smokes. I have lunch with her tomorrow, so I'll definitely talk some sense into her. I was stuck in traffic, it was headed, but I'm here. <sighs> Tina, on the other hand, she said um, she's not gonna be able to make it. And she said something like, um, Ken called, came over to her house. Ken went to Tina's house. Girl, hold up for the glory details. This is the tea. She said, Ken wants you pie. Oh, I don't want to that. You better make that decision because you know we don't like him. Well, I don't. I can say that for myself. Okay, I don't want him back. No, thank you. Anyway, so what are we having? I've ordered already, and I ordered something for you. And what did you order for me? Chicken shawarma. Girl, you know my favorite. You don't like that shit. <laughs> Let me have it. But uh, I need something to drink. Waiter. Welcome. My name is Ella. But you're ready for your dance. I'm sure. 
She, she brought up the idea of pulling a stunt on us when I told her I was going to the bar with you. And she said she'd like to come with us. And, you know, pulling that stunt was to see if you're going to be jealous. I called her to her, if you're jealous, that means you love me. But if you're not, that means you don't love me. My friend will be for that. Oh my God. Now come on, you can trust me. Your father for me shows that you love me. Jealous. So what were you doing? I was scared. I was so mad. I was terrified that my mom may be right again. Uh-huh. You need not to be scared. You need not to be terrified. My love for you is real. I love you. Let's go. I love you. Am I walking today? Nope. Why? 
All right, you said, uh, but then is I called in to stay home today because I want to spend some time with my woman. <laughs> Not too fast, mister. Oh, what are you doing here? I came to warn you to stay away from my wife. I hear you're both engaged. Sure we are. Do you have a problem with that? I want you to call it off. <laughs> I'll have this is just trash. Mr. Kent, um, Doctor, or uh, whatever you call yourself, you think you could just pull up a loud clap, man, to threaten me? Yes, it's a threat. I'm not an empty one. So I need you to get your acts together and call off that engagement, or whatever it is you, you call it, and consider this a friendly warning. Feel there's something wrong. Babe, I've known you for a long while and I can tell when you're happy or not. So what is it? Ken will see him. Please Ken. Dr. Ken, your husband. What? My ex-husband? What does he want and how does he even know where we live? I you did put me in a position to be able to answer that question. But I guess he, he drove me all the way from work to Lagari. Because I've never seen a particular pearl on the road till I drove in here. And you didn't call the cops? Oh, no, come on, baby, how'd you expect me to know that it was in? Well, I'm living in apartment, remember? So what does he want this time? He asked me that. What the hell does he want? He wants you back. And he even went as hell threatening me. He did what? Okay, now I'm gonna call the cops on him. Oh, no. Look, wait. I don't want you to call anyone, alright? So, I don't just feel like I'm moved by his threat, no. But I'm gonna do anything to make you happy, even if I die on the long run. I know my soul's gonna be resting in peace. But my only fear, my only fear is that you, you're gonna forget about me so soon and go back to him. Babe, I can't even say a thing like that. I love you. I love you so much. And it's either you or no one else. Thank you so much, baby. Wow. What? Why are you 
dress like this? Are you going anywhere? What? How do I look? Mm -hmm. You look perfect. And um, from today, henceforth, we will come to your church twice in a month. And we will go to the mosque twice in a month. He said, I want, I want everyone out there to. Does that think it's not messy when it comes to religion? Just we all worship the same God. say we've been engaged for like a year now and um, I just can't wait, I can't wait for you to be my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want me to start preparation? Oh yes, yes, I want you to start the preparation and um, I think I called my parents and um, I told them that we'll be coming over to see that over by the weekend. Do you think they will love me? My dear, what matters to me most is that I love you, you love me. So if they don't love you, I don't care. You understand because I even want you to love me alone and that's it, so. <laughs> Yes, and uh, you see, whether they love you or they don't, I don't care. What matters most to me is that I love you and I want you to love me alone. <laughs> So sweet. Oh, thank you. But I'm scared though. Uh, but you see, I'm worried about something. I'm scared.
if anything happens to you. I don't want you to go back to it. It is as if you could gladden my heart if you came to be with another man. But someone like him is not good for you. You see, a man who treats a woman bad, a man who abuse a woman verbally, emotionally, physically, is not a real man. So even if you end up being one of the men, no, it can't. Baby, what am I going to do to tell you that I love you so much? I can do anything for you. And... <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know I'm stuck with you, but you know, I'm just so worried. That way, trust me, I can't remember anything that happened yesterday. You need to believe me. All I can remember was I, I went to the restroom and and you brought me up. This morning to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, maybe maybe can do this. No, no. No, Joe. No. They're not gonna put it on Ken. I didn't even know where the video of the bachelor's game was. No! Hello? Yes? What? Okay, now you're listening to me. If you think you're gonna break us up, you fail. Let me tell you the truth. Your little prank did not do it. So try something else. Yes. What? What pictures? so bad but I'm, I'm sorry for everything I can't do this I can do this in my right senses if you know what can come in between us It's okay, it's okay. 
um, the thing is, the police just uh, came here now to arrest Ken for the murder of Joe. Uh -huh. So that's why she's in this mood. Oh. Mm -hmm. See, do you be fine? Yes. I don't think so. <laughs> I love you. night kidnappers came to the house after my dad left for work they took me and my mom to the bushes they shot my mom and was about to shoot me until a hunter came from behind and shot them all and saved my life I was so scared to return home or go to the police because he can buy himself out of it as you can see he's rich but I never stopped following him disguising myself to save Joe. He was so obsessed with Cindy that he made her go through miscarriages and blamed it on Ken because Ken was beating her. But all those medications he gave her was the cause of her miscarriages. He was the one that drugged Joe on Bachelor's Eve and set him up with a woman. He wanted her by all costs that he was ready to eliminate anything that could stop him. So he sent two guys to go kidnap and kill Joe on his way from work. They did, but wasn't lucky because I overheard them when they made the call and I involved the police. The police arrested the guys for the murder of Joe in order to save Ken's life because they knew his next target would be Ken. Dad, wherever you are right now, I am so happy that you will spend the rest of your life in jail and will miss my wedding and my grandkids too. for the murder of Mr. Joe. Yes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Everything is on tape. I got it. From your daughter, Teresa. For me, so there's nothing to be scared about. Okay. All right, dude. Uh, let me do this now. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. Now, open your eyes. I'd say this is our new home. Babe, I know you love me, mm -hmm. but we 
we cannot afford this place. This is beautiful, baby. Look. I know you want to prove my mom, Ken, and my friends about what they think about me. But. Oh, baby. I don't want you to drain yourself at work just to prove something. Because I love you so much. And it doesn't matter if we live in a homeless shelter. As long as I live with you, I'm good. Babe, I love you for whom you are and not what you are. Ah. You see? First thing. <laughs> I'll say I really do appreciate you for loving me the way you are. For loving me the way I am. Okay, and not a single day passes by without me thinking of you. But you know what? You've known me, known me for a while now. But I'll say you're yet to know I mean, all of me. There's something I've been wanting to tell you. Okay. And I think this is the very moment to tell you this. This is my story. No, Dad. I, I cannot be what you're asking me to be. You do as I say. That I cannot be a doctor. It's the fact that you're a doctor doesn't mean I should. I have to do what makes me happy. I want to go out there and learn. The moment you go out there, you cease at being my son. No son of mine will be a chef. Dad, seriously, I would prefer if you respect my opinion. I love cooking. Cooking makes me happy. I want to do what makes me happy then you will face the consequences. Your admission letter is in there on the tape. Read it and let me know how much their tuition is. I want you to get your things. You're going back to college tomorrow. Is that understood? Dad, like I said, I, I don't want to be a doctor. I'm not going back to school. Well, babe. This house you see here is mine. My dad had two houses. He gave me this one and gave the second to my sister. But I had to move away from this place because I needed to fetch something out for myself. I needed to discover me. I needed to do what makes me happy. Instead, I, I'm happy that you fell in love. I went out there to look for a woman who's going to find a life with me for who I am and not what I am. And presently I want to say I give all the glory to God Almighty who gave me the precious you. And for all the love you've shown me, trust me, I will love you to the entirety. Baby. You inspire me so much. I am so proud of you. I'm proud of you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me take you around the house and, you know, because I know you're going to have your personal kitchen now. Oh, but nobody. <laughs> <laughs>